Hello, I'm Nuala McGovern. You're watching Context on BBC News. The Ukraine crisis deepens even further with the UN Security Council meeting in emergency session in New York. The US repeats its warning that Russia could launch an attack at any moment. But let me be clear. I am here today not to start a war, but to prevent one. Satellite images show an increase in Russian troops on the border, but Russia continues to insist it has no plans to invade. Now, while Moscow keeps everyone guessing, it has taken one concrete step, expelling America's deputy ambassador to Russia. The US called it unprovoked, but the Kremlin has defended its decision. Also breaking news from New York, where Donald Trump has been ordered to testify under oath as part of a probe into the Trump family business. Also in context, drama at the Winter Olympics. The 15-year-old Russian skater who had failed a drugs test fails to win a medal. We'll discuss the pressures on young athletes. And tonight with the context, Brian Lanza, Republican Party strategist and normally based in the States, and Aisha Hazarika, a London-based journalist and former advisor to the Labour Party in the UK. Very welcome to the programme. Well, we start in Ukraine. Another day of warnings from the West met by more claims of de-escalation from Moscow. President Joe Biden has said the threat of a Russian invasion of Ukraine remains very high and could take place within days. His message was echoed at a NATO summit in Brussels, where defence leaders were meeting on the crisis. And at an emergency session at the United Nations Security Council in New York, there the US Secretary of State Blinken was clear about the scale of the threat. 